All right, hello, friends, golf fans. It is I. It is uh, Wednesday, 29th of July, and uh, got no real news for you. You know, I mean, besides the world news, which you can watch on your own. Uh, the new game is less than a month away. No new information. Just some teases of information to come. Uh, nothing new to report on uh, PGA Tour 2K21. Uh, nothing much new on the PS5 front, or how how PGA 2K21 will integrate that uh, with any enhancements or upscaling of anything. We we still don't know. It's uh, billed as a PS4 game. We're certain it'll play on the PS5. We just don't know if uh, it's going to be any better. You know, for that matter. So anyway. Uh, no real news. We're going to get out and play Made in the Shade at Shadow Point Pines. Like I say, it's Wednesday the 29th. Yesterday the 28th, I did not get out to play. So when we click in, we'll get Monday's results. I don't believe I, I did real well on that. But, uh, you know, it is what it is sometimes. Uh, yeah, it was hot and humid. Yeah, yesterday I went out for a couple hours midday, and yeah, by the time I got home, I just I just wanted to do a whole lot of nothing, and uh, really never got back into any gaming at all. I just kind of, you know, feasted on YouTube and Twitch or whatever. Some guys were doing live streams on a baseball game and stuff like that, and you know, just by the time it's coming up on dinner time, I didn't even do much about dinner. It was just one of those days. Anyway, so we're going to click on out to the Amateur Club. We should get Monday's results first. Then we'll look at yesterday's uh, leaderboard. Yeah, four over par. That was that was not a uh, good result. I had I got snake bit on a good couple of holes there. And we'll jump over here to the schedule. Your new name going to be? Yeah, uh, 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 we'll have to get back to them on that. I'm not entirely sure yet. Uh, all right, we'll go to back way right here. Okay, so all right, that was yesterday. All right, Monday. Yeah, that's the one I just showed you. Yeah, it did not do well. Was the Norman Fell eviction yesterday at the uh, Rand Furley course? Uh, take a look at the full leaderboard. All right, well, we had five guys come out to play. Charlie uh, led the pack uh, with 11 under, far and away over second and third place that were still under par, but nowhere close. Cap and Wed Benjamin came out to play. Okay. See here, so this is made in the shade, made in the shade today. Shadow Point Pines looks like a decent course. Uh, tomorrow will be Thursday the thirtieth. We'll be at Rolling Rock Country Club for Rock in a Hard Place Two, because I did a Rock in a Hard Place uh, uh, sometime in the recent past. And then Friday the 31st of July, we will be at the Links at Fir Trees Bay Golf Club for crying out loud. And we have a two-round championship over the weekend, August 1 and 2. Takes us through Sunday at the Tahoe Country Club Tour Edition for Paulie's Wedding Party. Kind of a... Uh, Kind of a Godfather uh, nod there, Tahoe, Godfather 2, remember the first Godfather opened up, it was uh, Connie's wedding, and the uh, second one pretty much opened up uh, at uh, Brother Paulie, uh, no, he wasn't getting, no, it wasn't him that got married, no, no, wait a minute, no, no, he had the wayward wife there that was embarrassing him and the family and stuff like that, anyway, it's still Paulie's wedding party, what are you going to do, all right. All right, so Shadow Point Pines, looks like the uh, Wayne's out there so far. All right, entry fees are nothing. There's 10,000 in the kitty, so let's get on out and play. Uh, we have normal firmness fairways to soft greens today. Putting will be fast. 
time of day lighting and weather. I left it published default along with the wind speed and direction. We're playing from the black tee boxes to the number one flag stick. So let's just get out and do it. Haven't even played Ghost of Tsushima here for a few days. Just you know, this, that, and the other thing. And then when I sit down to that, I know yeah, you know, I need three or four hours uh, for a session. And if I don't think I have the time, I generally don't do it. Not that I have anything pressing to do, but it's all yeah, it's all mental. Seems to be currency. My name space. is John McCarthy. <laughs> I never noticed giving that. You all of the welcomes <coughs> today here at this event, brought to you by the TGC Network. Today's event will be one round only, so that kind of ups the stakes. Let's get down to that first tee and see how this one goes. All right, well, we have attractive uh, lighting here and shadowing. Sounds like the morning with the birds singing. Uh, looks like a lot of fairway and very little else here. We shouldn't have too much trouble finding fairways. All right, we have a decent looking country club, club house type thing going on here with patios and stuff. We have parking in the rear, obviously. All right. Very large teeing ground here basically is, is just put on the fairways. Okay. So, I don't know, not seeing a whole lot of rough per se. Uh, we have a small light rough border here for a yard or two maybe and everything else is scrub and stuff so all right uh, we should be able to motor one down there pretty well we still need to be on that right hand side of that that big bunker though we do need to be down there And with that, I declare this event has begun. I don't think we'll find some fairway here. Uh, I think that bounces forward. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that needed to be a strong tee shot. Got it where we need it. Greens are soft. And this next shot is set up uh, above the hole. Uh, we're up against the wind now a little bit. Uh, flags in the back, so we should probably hit the what the 172. Yeah, that's the seven iron for sure. I'm just gonna loft the shit out of that. It looks like a seven iron. Well, I didn't want the double fast on that, but I got it. Oh, I'm not too sure about this one. Yeah, that would have been really good too if I'd hit it a little straighter. Okay. That's just uh, yeah, a little less faster uh, through the through the strike would have. Didn't have enough club on that one. That would have been better. All right, all right, could have been better. It ain't terrible, but I could have been a whole yeah, lot better. To save par. All right, 168 on green speeds, inch up. Oh, Ooh, pulled it. Close. Oh, I pulled Just that. Go. I was, was so close at contact on that. So closed on contact. And finishing this hole out with a solid putt. All right, not a good start. 
That was a good tee shot, too. And now let's move to the second. All right, big boy par five at over 600 yards. Plenty of fairway here. Looks like the course is pretty much all fairway and uh, just trouble with bunkers in the middle and stuff. Let's see what kind of angle we need here to get to this flag spit. Coming at it from the right side will we'll be the hot setup here. Get a little bit of that uh, hiccup on the backswing again. This is bound for the short stuff. Well, that didn't work out. And my apologies. Uh, that actually ended up in the rough. Yeah, well, I was flirting with that, but it was necessary. Well, we're clearly not getting to the green here. Get it out any way we can and try to have a short club in. Yeah, that went about one day. Short stuff after okay. that one from about a hundred. It's about what yards. I usually get with that club. All right, I think we need the 122 here up against the wind. Fast, fast again. Probably needed it. <sighs> Where am I it's getting these fast from? I don't know. It's with this game. Why is it that hard? <clears throat> that needed to be struck harder. Right. And that one will drop. All right, well, that needed to be a birdie. That really needed to be a birdie. Looks like. Looks like the Scotsman here, he got burned on three. What's, what's going on with three here? Mm, shouldn't have had a problem with that. And teeing off on this next hole. Wind could be shouldn't an issue have been a big problem. And, uh, well, I guess we're about to find out. All right, it's 376 uphill. So far, the wind really hasn't been working with us. Probably want to tack this from the right if possible. There's a perfect, perfect. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. Right. What kind of wedge can we drop on that? And he'll be happy with that. Five feet to go here. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. What the hell? Close. Very close. But no cigar. Is that that a horrible read or did I just hit it that badly? And a decent little putt there. I guess I just read it that badly. <sighs> okay. And now getting ready to tee off on this par three. All right, 191 downhill to this par three. Let's study the green here, see if there's a clue. And we just got to run it up. Going with the seven iron on this. Come on, one. wind, help me out. I hit you hard I enough. This is looking a bit long. I hit you hard enough. There we go. There's no reward. It did not roll back. It has found the green, but uh, quite far away from the hole at this point. Two inches up from here. All right. Didn't hit that hard enough either, did I? Wow, my green speeds are freaking way off here. And this one's for par. That should be going a little faster than that. Yeah, that one's uh, right in the cup. All right. Well, okay. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store for us. Already uphill to the green yet again. Bunker kind of guards the left. Kind of. All right, now nah, there's some green to work right there. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. I was not looking for that very fast, but uh, luckily I aimed uh, far enough right to uh, take that out of play. Okay, about 140 yards to go. Going with a pitching wedge here. Come on, give me a little bit of a bounce and then roll to the left. Come on. All right, a little more bounce well, would have been still good. Quite far away, but it is definitely on the ground. Oh, come on, John. Give me a break. That wasn't that terrible, buddy. Finally read a putt. Yep. For the birdie. Finally read it good and hit it right. All right, back to even. And now we find ourselves on the sixth hole tee up. All right, 358 downhill now. Okay. 
And oh my, this is going towards the sand. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to go that far, but okay. Okay. Hey -o. Hey -o. A very nice shot from a difficult lie. That's got to drop. All right. Well, that, that helped. I turned a misjudged tee shot into a bad pitch into a hole out. And let's see what the seventh hole has in store today. All right, back up the hill. Back to the clubhouse. All right. Uh, looks like we got some green to work with. Wind is helping. Okay. And a promising looking shot here. Is it? Well, it didn't land anywhere near a bunker, <clears throat> so I guess I got it right. Okay, and from a hundred uh, yards out. I'm still like in a 148 here, though. Going with the nine iron. Could be Might good. be a bit too much club on this one. Yeah, it's on target, though. I think that one will play. Yeah, I'm getting these now. fast now. I'm, yeah, maybe I'm not playing enough. Right. I don't know. I just don't know. Four inches down, and I still didn't hit it hard enough. And about four feet from Not the reading these greens well at all. And that putt drops on in for par. All right, well, nobody else is running away with it. And now the eighth hole. All right, we got a shorty up the hill. Greens are soft. We got to carry the bunker now.
Happens if I lean on the on the eight iron a little. Need about another half a club on that. Going with the eight iron. Nah, we still kill that. Nah, I need more club. Pretty sure he's gonna like that. <clears throat> nah, I'm not impressed there, buddy. Not impressed. Ooh, unfortunate. I mean, I picked the wrong time to hit one hard enough. And this putt is for par. Cool. And a nice putt. All right, I we needed that one. And next up, we have a par five hole. All right, well, we wrap up the front nine with a par five up the hill toward the clubhouse. <clears throat> Looks like we can air out the driver here. Let's get this in there. A little bit from the left, I would think, and run it up. Wind is helping. Shouldn't be a big problem. All right, fairway slope helped us out there a little, I think. I think he'll like that. And let's see how this one goes. They're setting up below the hole. Looks like the uh, hybrid is on Not display come here. Come around, Joel. Nah, not really. All right. That's probably the and best outcome. That's that was going to be a tough target to get to. Too much club on that, I think. I, I wanted that more to the left. Damn it. And about seven feet to go here. I knew that I knew the slope was there. I just didn't get it to the right spot. Beautiful. And that'll drop for birdie. Okay. All right. Good enough for the front nine. All right. What do we got in the back nine here? We have uh, two par fives. One of them is 17. Uh, 11 looks dangerous. 14 looks dangerous. 
let's not screw up 10. And now setting up for the par four. All right. Big par four down the hill. Uh, it's going to depend on the wind. Wind not helping. Got you. All right. All right, we're just going to take it. Take it over here to the right. Try to get a good angle in. Looking like it's finding the fairway. <coughs> yeah, well, I'm not really having a lot of trouble finding fairways here, buddy. It's as big as the whole outdoors. And about 235 to the pin from here. Yeah, it's a dangerous yeah, part four here. On the green, but uh, there will be a lot of work. To yeah, do. six on the, the index. Six inches up from where I left it. Yeah, I didn't think that uh, hybrid club was going to give me a whole lot of bounce. Good read. Okay. Five feet to go here. Ah, oh, I pulled the pot. Didn't. I pulled that pot. This pot is for bogey. I've got a piece okay, of the lead here. Moving on to the 11th. Light turnout uh, has been the way of it. Game fatigue, new one's coming. Everybody would rather think about the new one than play this one. Peeps went back to work. is looking fairway bound. And about 145 yards to the pin. Uh, well, it's playing more like 155, so we're going to take the 160 at this because we've been actually hitting them a little short here. An eight oh, that should be right on it. Come on. Oh, that's the other way. Come on. Nothing wrong with that. That was right yeah, into that contour. To go here. That was into the contour a little bit. Yeah, that could have.
didn't hit it hard enough again. Tough green speech there. And this pipe is for par. And that putt will drop. And moving along now on the 12th hole. Uh, here we are, a shorty. Uh, 115. Playing like 108. Yeah, but it's downhill. The wind has a little extra time to deal with it, so we're going to take more club, not less. Alright, uh, it's 115. It's down like six, playing like 109. We can get 12 out of that. Okay. Something sounded off with that swing. Well, I went fast on it, which never helps. Uh, that would have been the right damn club today, wouldn't it? And uh, not the greatest of swings on that approach shot. I'm going to blame that on the wind. Okay, Johnny, you do that, buddy. Too much. Oh, shit. Is this that one I was supposed to this be worried about? about? No, this isn't the one I was supposed to be worried about. <clears throat> it's just the one I was I should have been worried about. Oh, wow, I side door that one. And next up is the par five. All right, number 13. All right, see if we can make something out of this. All right, we got bunker trouble here, and it's a pretty long haul depending on the wind. Uh, plenty of green to work with there, but we cannot leave it short at all. All right, wind. It appears to be heading for the fairway here. Yeah, but will it stay there? Yes. All right, we got a side winder here coming in. 50 yards away. Get off the green or something if you can. Please get off the green. And it's go faster than that. Okay, get off the green there, my buddy. Five in two is gonna set up some yeah, that definite was... evil possibilities.
Well, I and Begora, looky that. Wow. This one's about two feet from the cup. That's a golf clap there, kids. And now the fourth hole. All right. Uh, yeah, this is the one I was worried about. Everything can come undone here. Short left. Short is not good. Short left is definitely not good. We don't have the right club for this, so we're going to have to improvise and help the wind helps us out here. And this is a four iron. All right, that might have been the smart play. Well, that was an unfortunate I didn't have the right approach. club to go on after it, so that had to be the right play. I need to read more break into that. And to save the par. Uh, no. I read it turning left and it didn't. I read it turning left and it didn't turn left. I made a wrong turn at Albuquerque is what it did. And now let's take a look at the leaderboard. All right, well, I was expecting difficulty on that hole, and I'll be happy with that. It's just a bogey. Yeah, moving on to the 15th hole. I could have read that chip better though. All right, 394 yards up the hill. We'll have to see what the wind is doing, but we probably want to attack this from the left somehow. This doesn't seem like it wants to be a big problem, but then again, Should clear the bunker. Yeah. Yeah, I might be I might have taken the right the right angle here for drop a wedge on it. Can we drop a wedge I on think that? He's gonna like that. Yes. I think this might be a bit long. Uh, not by much, and it should, that should have come back. 
And I think that'll play. Uh, oh, on the green after. Okay. I really thought that was going to come back. Hit it too hard. Damn it. Had it too. I had it. Feet away. Okay. All right. It's fine. Move on. All right. 15 down. Let's go to 16. What do we got? Part three shouldn't be too tough, but it is a part three, and we're late in the front or the back nine it's here. Setting so. up on the sixteenth tee. All right. Not sure I see much of a target here. That should be good. Come on. Be good. Be good for me. Come on. Bounce and roll. Come on. Thank you. And he's on the green. Putter's coming out. And this putt is for <coughs> birdie. That putt drops. Good read. Has a little bit of a double crosser there, and I got a good read on it. All right. And setting up for the par five hole. All right, last chance to make something out of this, I think. There's a hole out there somewhere. Okay, there it is. Uh, I don't see this as an eagle hole. Not this pin location. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. Well, I couldn't have threaded that little needle any better. From 240 yards out. Well. I think that's the hybrid. Outstanding Smithers. Fantastic. And hitting this par five. <sighs> Maybe it is an eagle hole. Some real interesting possibilities. Let's just make sure we get the bird. That was gonna go. No, this pot is for birdie. Under red. Uh, we'll take the birdie and not complain. 
Let's not give one back on the 18th. All right, 18 is a par four. We are playing from the black, so it should work out to 444. Teeing it up here on the 18th. All right. Ah, uh, uphill. We should be helping a little, right? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Thread that needle pretty well. Nice and drop a wedge on that. Okay, and about 145 yards left. It's playing more like 148 with a little bit of breeze. 143 and eight's like 151. It's playing like 155. All right, we're going to take a couple of grooves off of that. I hit it good. That should be good. That should be real good. Come on. Perfect. This next putt is for a final round score of 67. Ah, pulled it. Ooh, and it just, just oh, I pulled drop. it a little. I didn't hit it hard enough. Damn. Okay. All right. All right, not terrible. We've been really not playing a whole lot lately. Of course, challenge completed with Master Clubs will be for me. I'm not gonna. I'm not favoriting or starring or anything anymore. There's just no point. So that was it for today. Three under. Scotsman's one over through 13. He's not having a great day. All right. So that, that was made in the shade. Again, it's Wednesday, 29 July. Tomorrow is a rock and a hard place, too, at the Rolling Rock Country Club. That's going to be a challenging, uh, challenging course, I know. I have played it otherwise. Fur crying out loud on Friday the 31st. The links at Fur Tree Bay Golf Club. Paulie's wedding party at uh, Tahoe Country Club uh, Championship two rounders Saturday and Sunday, August 1, August 2. So that's what I got for you. 
Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell. <clears throat> so you always know when I'm on here. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, have your phone go off a couple few extra times during the day. Sure, why not? I'll never do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. Be smart. Keep it that way. And we'll see you next time. Peace out.